What's going on, everybody? Well, today, I'm solo. We'll get into that in just a few minutes, but I've got to run and take the trash off for Mom and Daddy and, our, and me and Cynthia and then get us a few things in town and back to your camp. And we'll check on Cynthia when we get back. Okay, well, she didn't want to even be on camera right now, but, you know, respect that. Uh, she hurt her back. Man, oh, man, she hurt her back, I'll tell you in just a second. So, yeah, boom, she hurt her back. Uh, probably started this morning, about 5 this morning. Just woke up out of straight panic, straight from dead sleep. I was too. I mean, it's just boom. And then before she laid back down, she kind of, she said, I think I've hurt my back. Pull, you know, I figured she pulled something. So, but she was able, you know, to get up this morning and we was able to come over here and see mom and daddy and spend some time with them. And then when we're leaving, she's fixing them. I don't know what she's doing. I'm still inside fixing to come out. And next thing I know, she's fell off the front porch at mom and daddy's right at the front steps which is not very big, but it doesn't take much. So first thing, I don't know if she's hurt, hit her ribs, the way she's laying, you know, but she hit her back of her, I think it's a right, yeah, right side, right upper hip and back part and scuffed it up a little bit with a concrete porch. Whew. But after she got back over to the camper, she's been laying down. Yeah, and uh, I mean, it, you know, Tylenol, yeah, but, uh, yeah, we may have to be, well, we got a doctor's appointment this week, but it wasn't for that, you know what I mean? So, be careful out there, guys. Gosh, so, she's laying down, and, you know, she was tired, too, where I was gone and had to run some errands and got back. She didn't want to be on camera right now, but maybe she will before the end of this video. If not, then, uh. She'll be back, because we need her. We miss her. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to get on the lawnmower and mow a little bit, and uh, probably up around the pathway. And I'm up here at the barn now. I need to find a push plow. Okay, found it. Yurt, check it out. Old push plow right here. Yep. My dad has pushed a mini a row off, and I've done my show, but I figured I'm probably going to try to use it this year, so I'm going to get it out of the barn. Yeah, that is it. Heck yes. So, yeah, all kinds of stuff up here in the barn. And uh need to use it for different things. This old door, I was thinking about one time doing a table or a headboard. You know, stuff like that. But, I mean, there's all kinds of different things up here. Maybe this is a foggy, cool day. Because it's definitely stop. It's not going to be weather to be up here. Mm -mm. It's weather to get out and sweat and get a little suntan. Yeah. Boomage, there she is. And those of you that don't know, that's going to be hopefully our no till garden, but it's going to be a little more work on it than, uh, than we think. So, boomage, yeah, I'm going to mow this pathway right here around the barn and around the soon-to-be garden.
Okay. I've got to get my ears adjusted, boy, I tell you. Mowing, oh, people say you should be wearing hearing protection. Well, I know it. I should be wearing gloves and all kinds of stuff, but, you know, ain't going to do it. <laughs> Appreciate you caring, though. But, yeah, we got uh, we got that right there done and accomplished. Daddy wasn't feeling too great today either, so this morning, I mean. So I thought, well, I'll mow up that way and get all that caught up and done. And uh, if he feels better, he can get out here and mow a little bit. He mowed the other day. And, uh, yeah, just makes the things look good and you feel better because you've accomplished something. And uh, I'm sure Cynthia probably didn't. Well, I don't know. When she goes to sleep, she can sleep through a freaking whatever. Okay? Tornado. It don't matter. I'd have to pick her up and throw her over my shoulder and take off running. <laughs> if we had to get out. Uh, but yeah, I got the push plow. Boomage. We're going to be planting some, uh, well, we got some onion bulbs already. And then all kinds of seeds uh, from awesome awesome person that sent us a big thing of seeds and uh yeah and i don't i mean we're not planting every single thing that they sent but man they thought of the us and sent every, all kinds of stuff plenty of tomatoes and uh we'll be going and putting some of those in and i may buy a few tomato plants that way you know we get some early tomatoes off those and then we'll have Boogoos hopefully coming later on but uh yeah beautiful day today hopefully y'all's having an awesome beautiful day i mean i know there's storms popping up and storms and flooding and snow showers probably somewhere and all kinds of stuff but you know what i appreciate we me and cynthia both appreciate everybody that watches this and tunes in from everywhere across the world man you know we had somebody in there saturday night live from uh, stationed right now, active duty, South uh, Seoul, South Korea, which Cynthia has been to, and it was pretty cool. Cynthia, it was it was pretty cool for Cynthia to feel, uh, you know, that connection. And uh, then you know, had pe got people from Sweden and all over, man, Africa. It's awesome. And uh, yeah, a lot of awesome people out here in this great nation as well. And Canada, love you. Australia, yeah. So, uh, yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe. Help, it helps us out. And uh, but let's go check on Cynthia. Yeah, she pretty much wasn't feeling up to visiting, you know, and everything. So we understand that. So I'm bringing a little dude out to use the bathroom. And I'm going to set you down right here. While Bubba goes to the bathroom. So, uh, yeah. That all adjusted. The wind's blowing, of course. Yeah, she just wasn't up to visiting, you know. Wasn't feeling too good when you're in pain. And she already hurts, you know, with things like that. But, I mean, you daggum learn to live with that. But when you got something, boy, like a daggum pulled muscle or something, something it does. And a, a nerve or a pinched nerve, boy, it'll let you know real quick. You ain't, you ain't doing nothing. <laughs> yeah yeah and uh but yeah got some stuff accomplished um bubba you gonna get your stuff accomplished for the day your chores come here and say hello to the peoples since mama you step in for mama <laughs> there you go you can step in for mama right okay he's not having it but anyways uh next i'll be bringing that lawnmower over here in the high notch and mowing where we cut and cleaned and cleared and all that good stuff. And, um, yeah, found a few uh, dry land fish, some more morels, morels. I mean, people pronounce them dif different, but we, we, I've always heard them been called, them called uh, dry land fish, which is a mushroom. And um, some spore, a spore of some sort, but uh, toxic when they're raw, fry them up damage okay okay like a lot of people say it tastes like chicken everything don't taste like chicken but a lot does it's weird <laughs> it is weird if you think about it but yeah uh so yeah guys appreciate you watching and uh we're gonna get out of here and hopefully cynthia will be feeling somewhat better 
she's been on her back ever since about 10 30 yeah and uh it's currently about three so i'm hoping to get this all put together and put out for your nation okay appreciate you love you guys and i'm gonna do hers i guess that's right peace out love you guys yeah and i want everybody to know like cynthia says never give up because you are so special you are so worth and you know what guys Vintage. look at that big old heart for y'all you got you got a purpose you got a purpose and yeah, we need Cynthia back so everybody we'll see y'all appreciate it love you yeah